Uh, our next speaker is a Canadian theater maker, arts administrator, and disability theater advocate. Please give a warm welcome to Cole Chakey. Hey everyone. Um, I'm also so lucky to be on the Pachaka Cha organizing committee. This is, I, my first PKN was number 10. So this is number 32 and no, listen, <laughs> what I meant to say, I don't know what I said, what I meant to say was this is my 32nd PKN. Um, I do appreciate this opportunity to delay starting my talk for as much as I can because I'm very nervous. Um, okay, we'll do it. So I work in nonprofits. Uh, does anyone else here work in the like nonprofit world? Yeah! So have you had the wonderful opportunity to have random corporate dudes tell you unsolicited and very out of touch advice about how we can run our charities more like a business? Super fun chats, hey? No joke. A couple months ago, I was literally chatting with one such golden business boy, and he was trying to tell me how the mental health crisis in Calgary should be seen as a golden business opportunity. <laughs> and he was one of those like corporate mavericks who wears like colorful socks with his business suit, so who am I to disagree? So tonight, I'm gonna pitch to you my idea to capitalize on this very real <laughs> mental health crisis. So, uh, my idea is depression cafes. So when you're out and you feel like depression or panic or psychosis or whatever settling in, you can go to one of our depression cafes, which each one will have a novel theme and uh, approach to uh, creating a safe space for you to, to land. So themes like, um, what's the first one? Comforter. So a comforter, you get like a warm mug of tea, and then you get shrouded in a weighted duvet, and over the stereo at like the perfect level is just David Attenborough's voice <laughs> describing nature for you. There's a sister cafe right next to it called Covers. Same thing, you get like a weighted blanket over you, but over the stereo this time, it's your favorite artists from today covering your favorite music from when you were a kid. So for me, it would be like Janelle Monet covering Blink-182 or Appalachian country singers covering jock jams. <laughs> Awning. <clears throat> Awning is an outdoor cafe uh, and it has a big overhang and then a sprinkler on the roof. So you can just stand there for as long as you want and watch the rain and just let the storm pass. And then bonus points if you turn to the person next to you and just slowly nod and go, we needed this. <laughs> sort, so at sort, at every table there's just buckets of shit, like Legos and loose screws and uh, other things to sort. And then you just sort them. And then every once in a while, an attendant will just walk around, look at what you're doing and say, you're really good at this. <laughs> Uh, nondescript, so at nondescript, you get to act like a Marvel superhero really trying to not be noticed. And so when you go in, you get a plain hat, a plain t-shirt and jacket, and if you're really like out of it, sunglasses. And then uh, you just sit there, and then at some point, someone is gonna walk by and, uh, I'll finish that joke later, toast! Toast, we'll serve toast. But really, you just get to watch videos of, uh, of dads giving uh, speeches at their son's weddings, usually like emotionally really repressed dads, but then they finally tell their sons they love them. <laughs> terminal, so for terminal, you get to just like act like you're at the airport. Like just do whatever you want. Like take your shoes off, take your belt off, just lie down and have a nap on any horizontal surface. Just really let loose. <laughs> terminal, what's next? Right. <laughs> Terminal two, here, here, people just treat you like you're dying. And, it, and that's it. Like, it's really, really nice. Uh, 
What's next? What's next? Oh, right. Okay, so imagine this. You can go to a beautiful building and there's just books, thousands of books, and you can borrow them for free. Or if you don't want books, you can take out movies or music, or you could like record a podcast. Sometimes there's like counselors and therapists there. Imagine this beautiful building. Folks, <laughs> our beautiful golden business boy is going to be so upset when he finds out that someone scooped us on this one. And these places already exist. And they're called libraries. And I fucking love them! Libraries! So, libraries. This is our first library. This is Alberta's first library. Central Memorial Park, or Memorial Park Library, uh, built in 1912 with money from Andrew Carnegie. So, Andrew Carnegie spent hundreds of millions of 1910 dollars building libraries. He called them palaces for the people. Now I want you to imagine if we lived in a world without libraries and one of today's billionaires came out and was like, oh so sorry folks, don't mean to be a bother, but I just had this idea of giving all my money away to build these things that I want to call libraries. And it will be free for the public. All walks of life can come and they can just access like rich, relevant information. What kind of response would that billionaire get today? Like folks, Bill Gates has just been trying to build toilets across Africa for a while. And a not, like, a, a not small number of people for that think he's like a, a crypto vampire who literally eats shit. And that's why he wants toilets. And so when I look at libraries, I feel in some ways so hopeful and optimistic because it's just to me the most beautiful human idea. And I also really despair because I can't imagine that idea being proposed today and it happening. So I love libraries. I don't work at a library. I'm not associated with libraries, just a big fan. And, <laughs> and I think we do need to defend our libraries. To me, librarians are now up there with teachers and nurses as just the like overstretched, underpaid, frontline heroes that are dealing and helping the most vulnerable and need of care folks that we have in our city. So defend your libraries, visit your libraries. Isn't that a nice phrase, visit? That's like, I only reserve that for like my Nana and other friends. So visit your libraries and thank you so much. <laughs> Guys, uh, first of all, thank you so much, Cole. Um, but guys, I'm wearing colorful socks <laughs> with my business attire <sighs> after the show. Lots of advice. 